Have you, Stu Gatz, ever been in anything that could be described as an actual fight? Oh, I, yeah, I've been in a couple of fights, Greedy. I mean, they didn't result well for me, but I've, I've absolutely been in a couple of fights. But when I'm defending, like, I played on a college lacrosse team, so and I had a bunch of bonehead teammates when I was playing at Clark <laughs> University, Worcester, Mass. And those guys would always get in fights. And I would, you know, I would actually, because I'm not a tough guy, Greedy. I'm like you. You and I get in pillow fights. That's what we do. Um, but I'm not a tough guy. So I was always, like, on the ancillary, like, on the outer fringes of the fight, pretending, like, going through the motions that I was actually trying to help out and doing something. When really I wasn't. I was just having a beer with one of the other guys that we were fighting with. All, listen, I'll tell you both. All you have to do in a situation like that, and Stugat talked about it because I've had teammates like that, just act like you're involved, but just grab somebody on the other team. That's all you got to do. Just grab right, somebody right. on the other team so <laughs> they can't hit one of your teammates and you've gotten into yourself involved in the fight. I understand that, and I understand, and, and you have told the story many times, you had a teammate who would who would – provoke a lot of yes, stuff yes uh, to the point that you and others would sometimes roll your eyes yeah but you're still running you're, over you're, there you, when the if, fight starts if a fight breaks out you're going to go out there yes you may not like it and i stugatz i agree with you i don't think there's any doubt buster posey knew it was coming did not like it and did not want any part of it but i i still to me anyway that all goes out the window an actual bench clearer gets out there you got to go defend your teammates